on Andrew Brooms. So for many seasons, a Minnesota Fighting Vikings running back Dalvin Cook was – Fantastic. Four time uh, team captain, four times a thousand yard rusher, all, all, all that stuff. But uh, the Vikings did uh, release him this offseason and then he signed up with the Jets. You know, one year, you know, $5.8 million deal wor worth up to seven. So he got a mini bag, got to respect that. Uh, especially it's hard, um, you know, especially being a veteran running back. Uh, but Dalvin got paid by the Jets and thinking, okay, he's going to be with a, a Ron Rodgers. Maybe he'll be a nice uh, supplementation with Brees Hall. But. Did turn out that way. So uh, Rodgers got hurt. The Jets' offense was ass. The offensive line is terrible. Brees Hall was taking up all the work because he's a damn stud. Uh, but Dalvin didn't get the time of day with the Jets, and uh, they decided to part ways uh, before the start of the playoffs. Pelissero go. Four-time Pro Bowl running back Dalvin Cook and the Jets have mutually agreed to part ways, allowing Cook the opportunity to play for a playoff team per his agency. The dynamic playmaker has fresh legs after minimal usage in New York and can now compete for a Super Bowl. I love how, you know, Pelissero having all that spin. You know, of course, Pelissero based in Minnesota. He crossed paths with Dalvin many, many times. Uh, but I don't know. I, I feel like that's a little bit too much cap there. But, I mean, Dalvin, Cowboys, Dalvin, Browns, especially with Stefanski. I mean, that, that could make some sense there. But, you know, Dalvin for many years was fantastic with the Vikings. Uh, he was a true team leader. He was extremely explosive and electric on the field. And, again, you can't sneeze at four straight thousand-yard seasons, even though, I mean, Dalvin dealt with significant uh, health issues throughout his time with the Vikings. Uh, he didn't play a full 16-game season uh, or 17-game season once they flexed to that until 2022, which ironically, statistically, was his worst season, averaging only 4.4 yards per carry. And you know, this offseason, it was a business decision. Dalvin was due a $10.4 million base salary, and Dalvin and his agent were you know, very loud and vocal, especially his agent on social media, about not taking a pay cut. Uh, and the Vikings decided to you know, make said business decision and the Vikings you know, made tough choices this offseason with a lot of luminaries whether it be Dalvin Cook whether it be Patrick Peterson whether it be Eric Hendricks as well as Adam Thielen and uh, again you you see how Dalvin hasn't really had a great year th this season with the Jets but you see uh, Adam Thielen having a, a hundred and a thousand season uh, Kendrick still has some mileage up but it's better to let a guy go too early versus a year too late and again Quasey he got a lot of poop uh, from Vikings fans like how, how are you gonna let Dalvin go bro all, all that stuff and you know, him and his agent reportedly looking for a pretty significant contract you know did get the one year uh, seven million dollar deal with the Jets so I mean he it's, it's not looking good uh, for the Jets uh, overall. But this year, uh, Dalvin ran for 214 yards and 6.7 uh, and 67 carries, 3.2 yards per carry, which beep, bop, 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 boop, uh, worst of his career. But yeah, with running backs, you do have to get in a rhythm, and he simply was not getting the work. Uh, he only had one game of double-digit carries. That was week one when Brees Hall was still dealing with the effects of his ACL injury. And... I mean, the offensive line was terrible. Uh, the passing game wasn't a threat, so uh, they were facing heavy boxes against like Zach Wilson and uh, and whatnot, and it just wasn't good. But uh, Dalvin still managed to lose two fumbles. Anyways, uh, but the, the whole thing about it is that would have been better if Dalvin would have taken a, a pay cut and stayed with the Vikings. I, I mean, selfish, selfishly, sure, because the Vikings running back room and with Madison signing on with a two-year deal – and well, it wasn't great. So the Vikings running back room has barely uh, put up over a thousand yards on the ground and it just hasn't been good. I mean, we had the Cam Akers experiment, which he was good until he popped his Achilles again. Uh, Ty Chandler is the only running back of a, uh, averaging over four yards per carry besides CJ Ham. Hmm. Uh, and a, a part of it is, you know, with no Kirk Cousins, you know, doesn't open things up underneath, doesn't open up the running game. And it's been an issue. It's It's been an issue all year. So, again, would have been best if the Vikings and Dalvin had worked something out? Maybe. But, I mean, if Dalvin was still here and if he was still RB1, I, I don't think that Madison would have signed his two-year deal. Maybe that would have been better. Uh, but is Dalvin actually washed or is it just him with the Jets? Who really knows? And, you know, Dalvin at 28 uh, – is he done? It's possible. I mean, he's had a lot of work uh, throughout his career. But then you look at Raheem Mostert <laughs> just, uh, up there with the rushing touchdown, uh, or up there with the rushing touchdowns this year, having a phenomenal season, age 31. I don't know, man. But, uh, again, hindsight, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Uh, could Dalvin have been back at a significant pay cut? 
I mean, it's his prerogative, and he got paid more money with the Jets uh, versus staying here with the Vikings, an offense that he knew and a locker room that uh, loved him, and he could have gotten some work. But either way, it didn't work out, but you know, wishing Dalvin the best. And I hope that he does latch on to a playoff team. I hope that he does give himself uh, a chance for a ring. Like, hell, may- maybe he goes up to Buffalo and, and joins his brother James as well as uh, playoff Lenny. Uh, all- Ooh, and also uh, Latavius Murray. Sure. Or, you know, the Ravens could make some sense, add some depth there or hell, San Francisco. Screw it. I mean, uh, McCaffrey's dealing with that calf injury. Why why not? And uh, Shanahan and San Francisco run a lot of outside zone, which is Dalvin's specialty. Why the hell not? But I would look out for the Browns and Stefanski because, you know, Jerome Ford and Kareem Hunt. Uh, they've been dinged up too, and obviously they're without Nick Chubb, so uh, that that could make some sense. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Dalvin Cook released by the Jets. Eh, Quasi probably made the right decision. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once both the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.